Our next team comes from the Czech Republic. 15-year-old Andrea Serna and 16-year-old Jaquín Novak. Six after the rhythm, the rhythm dance. They're going to need an 88.08 to take the lead. They had a 65.71 last season on the Junior Grand Prix. And they're going to skate to music from David Arnold. Team heading into their choreographic lift it was going to be an absolute highlight of the free dance. Such a shame for Andrea Sona and Achim Novak from the Czech Republic. And that's a team that, you know, scored a monstrously big new personal best in the rhythm dance and potentially en route to that. It just started to fumble. They were miscatching a little bit before it. What a shame. And it was interesting, Mark. I was thinking during the, I thought, wow, this is a complicated uh, program because of the intricacy of the transitions into and out of these elements. I love the creativity, but you run the risk at that. Mm. That's like pushing to the limit. And so there they paid the price there. But I love the effort to be creative, innovative, and great difficulty on the entrances and the exits. Hit that musical 
accent there in the straight line left into the rotational left, choosing to do the combination of two, coming at level four for both. And this extension there in between, really nice. She now misses the catch, so it drops one level as a feature there. But having seen the warm up, we saw that right outside Twizzle being so problematic for her in warm up, so I think she'll be relieved to have done that. And actually, really impressive call on the step sequence for Yahim. We had the level three assigned to the serpentine step. Now, the technical panel will review that now. It seemed that after that, it was on the one foot. We need a wee bobble into the twizzle as we look at the difficult exit for the spin. Here, ooh, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. And not, you know, you don't practice. How do I recover from a fall like you, from yeah. that? How do I pick it up and get into the lift? And, you know, that just stumbled to the end of the program. But listen, this is a good team. They're pushing themselves for difficulty and content and innovation. And it was a little bit rough here today. But, you know, certainly as this program begins to smooth out, uh, they'll see the benefits of that in time. And I feel the same as uh, Giannacini and Kaplan. They are younger than they look, only 15 and 16. So we will see such development as juniors before they take the climb to the senior ranks. And as I said, in the rhythm dance, Czech ice dance led by Mrazka Mrazek. They're now in the senior ranks. They're competing now at Lombardia Trophy. And I'm sure that's constant inspiration for this Czech team. But then it kind of gives you a, a different perspective when you're the the pioneer for the nation like the Mexicans, you've not got as much to reference against. For these guys, yeah, they're referencing against the Junior World Champions. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah, they'll be a little bit disappointed with this, but they're pushing to follow in the footsteps. Mm. You know, of the other teams that have gone before them, that's a good thing. And they had a bit of a mishap today, but their future's bright. And the fa family involvement, Matej Novak, the coach, he's so experienced as a skater himself, so he'll be you know, using all of his sort of competitive juices from his own experiences to push this team. So, you know, I think that's what we often see. We see parents and family members as coaches because they've got that doubly vested interest to enhance and improve the skaters. Yeah, and if they could just work the relationship and, <laughs> yeah. you know, <laughs> which is, you know, be involved, don't necessarily be too bossy, but, you know, <laughs> it's a fine balance. It's it's different for everyone, for sure. So word choice and timing matters, as we've mentioned before, but particularly in a family situation. Yeah. And credit uh, to the, You know, they just... Go ahead. I, I was just going to say credit to them for getting up and getting a three-second lift and getting that element still called despite the mistake. Yeah. Well, 65.71 is their personal best... But as I mentioned, that came last season. So when they have that one fall deduction, and here's the score, 67.98. That is 11th in the free dance. Not happy with that. I can understand that totally with a 119.77, and that'll put Andrea and Jaquim currently into eighth place overall.